Black. And I'm Craig Richardson. And uh, what we have here is uh, a big pile of matchbooks that I found at, a, at, a, at a, an antique store. We're just going to go through some of these. We're just, we've got this big pile in front of us, and we're going we're gonna to look at them. And uh, here we go. Trail Dust Steakhouse. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you ever get your? Did you ever wear a tie out there? Did no. It, that was the place where they cut, yeah, off, they your cut tie, your tie, right? off. Yeah. yeah. God, I rem- I mean, yeah. I, this what happened to that? I don't know. I never went there. I mean, I I saw it, it was like, yeah, they'll cut off your tie. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was sort of like this to me was in the same sort of category as those like Japanese steakhouses where they would cook on your table. It was like this yeah, place like that the, you would only go if your grandfather was in town or something. Right. The weird <laughs> theme. The curiosity. <laughs> I love how you have to have a, had, a, had to have a gimmick in those days. Well, yeah. Here's uh, here's an older an older incarnation of the antlers. Uh, kind of a great logo here with these uh, the weird little antlers. <laughs> yeah. Well, it means business, you know. Mm-hmm. This was when it was still just the antlers. Oh, and it was at the Chase Stone Center. Yeah, that is Chase days. Stone. But this was after they did that very first. Uh, the the sec. This is the third incarnation, right after they did the demolition of the beautiful old stone. Right, that's the third one. Yeah, this was the one that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's um. Do you remember this? <laughs> Sambo's. I do remember that, and I actually I got a couple of those because uh, I figured those are collectors' items. I guess it was it was considered racist. I don't know anything about this. Uh, it, it's Denny's now. Oh, seriously? Yeah, Denny's was Sambo's. Really? Yeah. And they had to change the name because of Little Black Sambo's. And it looks like here's a pinhole through here. Like somebody had hung this up at some point because yeah. they thought it was so funny. I, I don't know. Hmm. Sambo's. Did they have like a whole theme? Like a whole... I think so. I, I, think so. I mean, I, I don't... I remember going there. I do remember uh, my mom reading me the book Little Black Sambo, and I, I love that book. Yeah. Yeah, it just, I mean... It was a different era. Yeah. Would you read your, your child that book? Sure, if I had it. Why not? Oh, here's a here's because it's incredibly racist. Well, that's why not. I mean, if you want to parse things out and get down to brass tacks, then maybe we can start with that. Okay. <laughs> here's a here's a village in Pancake House restaurant. Um, again, this is just a, a different design. This they're still there. They have those real uh, fancy Helvetica type face. They're, it says VI now. Oh is yeah, village in it's real uh, sort of future throwback. I don't know. I've never been to a village inn. You've never been to a village inn? No. Well, not bad. Really? I mean, for like roadside food, you know, you could do worse. Here's the uh, Skyline Club. There's uh, various kind of military insignia graphics, and uh, there's NORAD and various missile missiles shooting and lightning bolts and uh, eagles with uh, their talons clenched about lightning bolts. And this is kind of freaking me out. What have you got there? Uh, Bill's Tool Rental. Oh, that still exists. Does it? Yeah, it's yeah. over on the west side. Mm, it was over on Platt, on East Platt. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I said, the east, <laughs> east side. <laughs> Here's O'Brien's Pub. Do you know, have you ever, uh, 4829 Barnes Road? Uh, I, I, it sounds familiar. Live entertainment, O'Brien's. Here is the Cheyenne Mountain Country Club, which has uh, an incredibly elaborate crest. On a green thing. Yeah, that's uh, nice. It's got a bear inside. <laughs> of course there's a bear inside. <laughs> Here's Wade's Pancake House, number oh, two. Oh, man. That's w- which is uh, now the... Um, oh, what's the place down off of uh, Chestnut in Colorado? The breakfast joint. Oh, to, right, right, that right. used to be Wade's. What's that called? I, like, I knew all kinds of people in high school. That was always their first job working at Wade's Pancake House. They've got a logo that resembles like a buzzsaw blade, some kind of logging uh, blade yep. exploding behind Wade's. I think that's w. just a, I think that's a sun. Starburst? It's a, it's, a, it's a breakfast place. Oh. Um, the Palmer House. That's still there, right? It's like think, a Howard Johnson my, now Yeah, or I think my grandfather used to stay there, too. The, the Palmer there House. On, uh, off of uh, Fillmore and uh, I-25. 25. Yeah. I think there was a murder there of like a night audit person hmm. uh, several years back. It's always, uh, those people are always being murdered. You don't, want to, you don't want that job. Here's another Antlers one from probably uh, slightly after the last one we looked at. It's got the, just the, the deer profile. Hmm. Oh, here's Furs Cafeteria. All the good foods you love to eat. Yeah. Did you ever go to Furs? I don't, I think I went to Furs once. It was like the day after Halloween. Uh, I was probably 22. 
uh, me and some of my chums went there together because uh, uh, we, you know, hung over. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's a good hangover spot. <laughs> and I'll be damned if uh, not two seats away was uh, former uh, Congressman Joel Hefley. <laughs> I swear, I swear to you. Was he wearing a brown tie? <laughs> yeah, I think he was like wearing one of those weird knit brown ties. <laughs> so he was always wearing a brown tie. <laughs> oh, here's some uh, political matchbooks. Elect Bob Williams for assessor. Number one on your ballot. Keep El Paso County number one. Here's a little photograph of Bob Williams. And... Mm-hmm. Huh. Here's a Four Seasons Motor Inn. Do you remember the Four Seasons? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, what is it now? The Crown Plaza or something? Something there? like that, yeah. I like that. Nice little logo. That's a handsome book handsome, of matches. Handsome book of matches. Coming in fall of 74, a new standard of excellence for Colorado Springs. Oh, they didn't even... Wasn't even open yet. Here's another uh, political one. Elect incumbent Millard C. Port for El Paso County Assessor. Apparently mm. the assessor is really... Uh, got taken by these matchbook salesmen. <laughs> That sounds like a good idea. Vote Republican. People are thinking about assessments whilst smoking. I think this might be my favorite. Um, the old Spirit of 76 uh, design. You like that? With uh, the CSCE Credit Union, Colorado Springs. What do you think that stands for? CSCE, Colorado Springs. Credit Encounters? <laughs> <laughs> I would encounter upon the credit, sir, this day in 1976. West uh, Fontanero Street. I don't think they're still in business. I don't think so. Here's a hungry farmer. Uh, didn't they just reincarnate the hungry farmer? It was a uh, no. It, yeah, I think they did. Did they? I think it was. Uh, I, I, again, this is another place in high school. I knew so many people who right. their first job was either waiting tables or washing dishes, and then they pouring would pour, coffee from like ten feet yeah, in the you air. Like put yeah. the coffee cup on your foot. <laughs> or they would like put it in their back <laughs> pocket and like all kinds of hijinks with the coffee. Yeah. Again, another place I don't think I actually ever ate. It was just uh, sort of... We went there a few times. You know, like when company came, you know, like when relatives or people from out of town would come, then we would uh, take them to the Hungry Farmer just so... Because uh, it was such a... It was novelty. Like, hey, look at this. Yeah. that was It was that whole thing, the novelty uh, family restaurant. Right. In that day. And uh, there was a, also a location in Denver, which I did not know. Oh, really? On Alameda. Interesting. Yeah. Well, what are you saying? They 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 reopened it? They're getting I think that, I think that they I think somebody reopened it as the Hungry Farmer again. It was like it was uh, Cal Crate got in, was involved. Yeah, in they that tore it down. It. They tore down the building and turned oh, it did? into a Chick Fil A. Oh, they did. We'll they, see. They built a Chick Fil A there. It's a Chick Fil A. <laughs> Here's is this the same Village Inn as the last one? Oh, yeah, this no, is no, different. No, no, oh, no, this yeah, is, this is this is this is the original one. This is the one that was there in the old Episcopal Church. They and this was the first Village Inn in. in the country. Yeah, that's the one next to the post office downtown. Was this, it really? This was the place where they had the uh, the sin and the thirty seven. Is this the original Village Inn? Yeah. How do you know? Because that's part of Colorado Springs lore. <laughs> You've never heard that before? No. That was the first, the very first Village Inn. That's a, that is a claim to fame. We should have some sort of, uh, they should have like a historical Village Inn set up where you go and everything's plexiglass and they have like the, right, <laughs> right. I mean like the dioramas. <laughs> Sneeze guard. <laughs> you just go in there and like, is it is uh, just down the street from old, uh, Helen Hunt Jackson's place. She probably went to the village in herself. and I think she invented it. <laughs> Here's a... Do you rem- I, don't, I have no recollection of this place. The Institution of Rock and Roll, 1840 North Academy <laughs> Boulevard. The Institution the, of Rock and Roll. The best live rock and roll in Southern Colorado. And then inside, it has name, phone number, rating. It has like a, a pickup. Like you could write somebody's name and phone number down on the inside of the oh, matchbook. Oh, and then and afterwards, then rate like them. rate them. Wow, too bad it's not filled out. Yeah, that would be that would be interesting. Huh, that's a good idea though, because when you're later, I just want to have <laughs> an encounter. Uh, Rubens a credit encounter. <laughs> <laughs> what is your credit rating? <laughs> I will circle it here. It's a three. <laughs> You will never be able to buy a house. <laughs> Check this out. Zeb's. Do you remember Zeb's? Yeah, it's still there, isn't it? No, it's it's some other... It's been gone for years. I knew a guy who worked there in high school. His name was Kit. He worked there in high school. Kit. 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 Short for Christopher. Did he, uh, or, did he enjoy it? Uh, yeah, he told me some stories that I daren't repeat. Oh, here's another Wade's Pancake House. And this logo is very much more uh, sunshiny than the buzzsaw. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
But, uh, oh, they had Wade's 1, which is 16 South Walnut, and Wade's 2 over there on Galley. Well, Maybe they I'll got be. a little big for their britches, and then they just shut the whole operation mm, down. I seem to remember them doing that. Here's uh, the Alamo. Did you ever eat at the Alamo Mexican restaurant? Oh, where was that? It was at 2427 North Academy and 925 South 8th. I, it's again, I When I was a kid, we were never we were never allowed to eat at Mexican restaurants. <laughs> allowed? Well, my parents, they uh, you know, we never went to Mexican restaurants because it was probably too spicy. <laughs> they had sensitive digestive systems. Well, my parents didn't the, well, to this day they don't like spicy. <laughs> I'm serious, spicy. we just I mean, salt was about as as uh, exotic as it got. Here's the Bean Bandit, speaking of Mexican restaurants. Is that place still open? I don't know. It's 320 North Circle. I remember it, but I never ate there. I think we were there once. I think I went there once about seven years ago. I like this. It looks real folksy. And the indoors was all, it was kind of, you know, exotic. Bean Bandit. <laughs> it's a <laughs> well, good yeah. name. Well, the whole theme of the place was, uh, you know, that they would steal the beans from all of the other restaurants in town and then uh, cook you a meal. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, furries. Oh, of course. Yeah, they're still around. Yeah. There's hardly any matches. Are there any matches in there? Mm. Oh, yeah. Just a few. It's interesting because it seems like the places where you'd imagine more smokers would be have uh, more matches taken out. Yeah. But the places that are, you know, like the El Paso Club, that didn't have any matches taken out because no. those guys don't smoke. Here's a, where do you think a great place to take a leak would be? Um, plumbing store? Close Ken's Radiator Service at 3522 ah. North El Paso. That's cute. That's a that's a nice thing to say. Yeah, it's kind of. A, I bet his wife thought of that. Here's the Colorado Springs Country Club uh, match cover. It looks like a it's sort of like a takeoff on the Cadillac logo. Real fancy. It's almost like a Cadillac Viking ship. Is what I'm seeing there. Yeah. Coming to just take control. I see. Kind of. I see a tennis net. I see a pool. I see abstracted heads. All inside a uh, a Viking ship. I see an Olympic torch. <laughs> Man, they really they really hit that one out of the park. Yeah, it's all bracketed in, isn't it? And they have it's textured. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Um, the Wind Song Restaurant. No recall whatsoever. I like that little cover though. It looks like the cover of a book, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Wind Song. <laughs> Here's a, another defunct bank, American Heritage Bank and Trust. How do these banks, like, do you think they just made a bunch of money and they just left town or, like, they got bought by some other bank or? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's, it was all in the, these things all get gobbled up. Man, I'm going to start a bank. How do you get a, how do you get a bank charter? <laughs> you just, just call get up. some matchbooks. And <laughs> <laughs> you have to demonstrate that you have matchbooks, I think. <laughs> Back then, at least. Affix, affix two matchbooks <laughs> to application. Here's the Bank of Colorado, 1521 South 8th Street. Ample free parking. Drive up banking weekdays. Well, that's nice. Hmm. Here's another defunct bank, the First National Bank. I like this. I like this book cover. This is like a, is that it defunct? Looks, you know what this looks like is like the New York subway system or something. It's got these little. To me, it looks like some kind of weird chat show. Is it? Def- is First National? First National Bank. I mean, sounds of, Colo- like, of Colorado Springs. That sounds like something that should still exist. Is that, didn't, do we have national banks anymore? <laughs> national Bank. Well, we have the Federal Reserve System, which is a private bank. Right, well, but don't, aren't they the ones that chartered all the national banks? I don't know. I don't think they have any dominion. Hmm. Here's Finn's Fresh oh, Seafood yeah. and Prime Rib Oyster Bar. That's where uh, Mackenzie's is. Yeah. Right? I remember going there sometimes with my father. <laughs> you and your father really frequented the steak and potato places. Well, they don't like Mexican food. <laughs> here's a uh do you remember generic stuff like when it was just black and white <laughs> do you remember the generic outlet on plat no yeah it was like painted yellow generic you outlet the, yeah they had Platt. like a generic grocery store and it was yellow and i think all the labels were yellow and black rather than white and black but it was yeah it was all generic but do you remember the generic yes, stuff? Remember you'd go to the generic. regular grocery store and like it would yeah. just be a black and white bag it would like say like you know potato yeah, chips yeah. And I, had a, I had a friend. He always had a canister of generic beef jerky. Like, what could be more disgusting? Oh, just weird beef jerky. They've gotten generic. a lot smarter about that, you know, with the the club brands, the uh, the store brands, right? The market does. But but this reminds me of uh, that because it's the uh, the end Federal Credit Union generic match matchbook. Yeah, and still around. Man, yeah, this is this is a collector's item, brother. 
How much do you think you this could sell that? This is at 805 for? North Murray Boulevard. This is probably their only location at the time. Man. And Air Force Base. Right. How old do you think that is? Mm, probably 19, mid-1970s. Do you think we could have that dated somehow? Take it over to the science facility at the Colorado College? Get a carbon the, dating on it? The science pavilion? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure have, we could just take it to Ent and ask them. Have you seen the new science pavilion over there at the college? Uh, new as in in the past <laughs> 40 years. <laughs> they've got, uh, old Jacob was telling me they've got bones in the filing cabinets there. Nice. Uh, this one is a Castaways, and it's one of these skinny matchbooks. And I just want to say that uh, this one is one of my favorites because it has the Castaways oh. schooner. Uh, is that a, is that a schooner? That's a, is that a, that's a galleon. I galleon think. printed onto the actual matches itself. Oh, wow. They're in Manitou. Castaways is still there. Yeah, and then it, it also it's also printed on the back of the book, so they just went crazy. Yeah, they did the triple. That. So as you tear matches away, they're printed on each layer of match. No, underneath? just on the front layer, just uh, just there on the front. But it's pretty cool. That would have been overboard, had they mm-hmm. get it? Overboard castaways. Yeah. Here's uh, another political one. Reelect Harriet Beals. Do you know who Harriet Beals is? Nope. She was going with a real military motif with the. Uh, you know, raising the flag at Iwo Jima and the uh, yeah. color guard. And she was uh, running for clerk and uh, or rerunning for clerk and recorder. Hmm. Here is a real throwback. It's a matchbook for the Colorado Springs National Bank, not to be confused with the National Bank of Colorado Springs, <laughs> uh, where every customer is a VIP. And on the back, it has the Master Charge <laughs> logo, <laughs> the Interbank card. God, do you remember that? Yeah. The convertible card converts to cash instantly. Well, that's all we got for you. If you have any uh, historical matchbooks out there, if you if you have those, we would love to see them, photograph them. Or if you have any little stories or anecdotes that you'd like to share with us about any of the locations that we've described, give us a call on our special call-in hotline, which is area code 719-434-DOJO. Let us, uh, send us an email, uh, thebigsomething at krcc.org, and let us know if you have a uh, local matchbook collection that we might uh, photograph and share with our viewers here. Thank you. 